but we on a regular basis. So, what have we achieved? We have 80,000 medical services delivered at home. We have 6,000 subscribers. We have delivered the continuum of care and a better clinical outcome. And all because of a simple, innovative idea. pioneered the concept of speciality home health care in India. We call it the Nightingale's Touch. Thank you, sir. I now request Mr. V. Tyagarajan, Managing Director of India Home Health Care, to address the gathering. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank uh, Symbiosis for giving us this opportunity to be here in front of all of you. Uh, to give a brief background uh, about myself, uh, I am the founder of India for Healthcare, uh, founded in 2009. Uh, to, uh, to put a disclaimer first, I am not from the healthcare industry. Uh, I am from a tech background. Uh, I came to this industry for emotional reasons. Uh, Around 2009 time frame, I was running my software company, I invested with private equity investors, and uh, I listed uh, in stock markets as well. Um, I was taking care of my friend's mother. Uh, she lived close to my house, and he lives in Washington, D.C., uh, only son. I used to take her out whenever we go out uh, uh, as family. I used to see the emotional drain she used to go through when she sees other families with kids and grandkids. And sometimes when I used to see her, actually, she would be sick. I'll ask her what happened. She said, nothing wrong. I'll just took close in. I'll be all right. I saw the signs of depression she was uh, you know, getting into. I told my friend, actually, you better come back here or take care of that. Otherwise, she's going to die, and you'll feel bad the rest of your life. I said, OK, that's a major decision. It is going to take uh, six months and a year, actually, for me to decide. Actually, till the time, can you find a nurse for her? I thought, no brainer I can find. And um, so I told. Uh, um, I found very difficult finding a nurse, and finally a medical shop guy near my house actually helped find a nurse. But she used to always complain some problem or other. Then I found another nurse through another, uh, uh, another agency. But the prob uh, complaints never stopped. Uh, and ultimately, as I feared, she got into depression and dementia and died, which really affected me a lot. Emotionally, I got really uh, very bad, uh, bad in shape. And uh, I thought we had to do, because it looks like a soluble solution, and uh, but it looked like a big uh, rocket sense to uh, here. Then I told my board of directors uh, that I would like to take a break and start get into this industry. And uh, so they told, OK, that's fine. If you want to do this, to go, go ahead and do that. And so I found a professional CEO for my software company. And I always felt that if you do something, do it right. Uh, today, say, if I start a hospital, I can hire people from Apollo or Fortis. They'll come at all good practices. I didn't have any company to hire from. Uh, so I went to US. Uh, I joined a home health care company as an intern. And I studied nursing. I joined a nursing school. Um, uh, so I did a one-year nursing course and uh, also the internship. I came back with all the learnings and started this company out of Chennai. In a small way, I started. In, uh, during the internship, I found that actually there's an highly operational intensive in the industry, a lot of systems and processes, um, and very systematic and methodical approach, uh, um, which by a lot of Indians are not good in actually like you know, all these aspects, actually what this industry requires. Um, I found a German guy, fortunately, actually at a healthcare conference. Uh, he was looking uh, f uh, to come to India for some time. Uh, hired him as a chief operating officer. Uh, uh, so he came and joined me as a partner. That's how brick by brick we built it, actually. From, from day one, institutionalized uh, the company. We, we set up a training institute. Um, we ran as a brand. Uh, what it started as a small way in Chennai in 2009. We are in eight cities now. Uh, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, um, Trivandrum, Coimbatore, Delhi, and Mumbai. Uh, um, just to give a, uh, a talk about actually what all the different things we do. Uh, so we started as actually pre pretty much geriatric care, which is elderly care. That's how we started. Uh, uh, for the first three years, uh, that's what we were doing. We were mostly, mostly focusing on elderly care. Then we found that uh, that's one space actually where we are uh, taking care of only the uh, uh, people uh, who 
who who has the comfort of affording the service actually but because in india the, the this service is private paid it's not insurance paid like western countries only certain sector the people can afford actually in terms of geriatric space actually but i wanted to touch the lives of many others that's when we started moving more clinical uh, so uh, the, to to start with actually i uh, I, I took private equity money from a, a strategic partner uh, can you go to the next slide so here you can see our chairman uh, Mark Baida. He he talks about actually what home health care. He is in this industry for the last 42 years. Uh, it's a five billion dollar firm. They have 32,000 nurses uh, across the world. Uh, can you play the video? Oh, there is a link actually. Okay, I can I can talk about it. So uh, can you go to the next slide, please? So what are the different things we do is actually, uh, so to get into critical care at home, which is ICU at home, uh, as um, uh, my uh, doctor uh, previously who spoke from healthcare at home said actually like no, just because somebody has to be in a ventilator, actually they don't need to be in a hospital. Uh, uh, so the, where the hospital today actually always there is shortage of beds. Um, so the hospital is required actually the first three, four days where the client, all the investigations has to be done and the surgery is required. And after that, the hospital is not able to serve a new client because this client they are not able to discharge. That's why we work as a relay team, close partnership with the hospital. We have now a joint venture with most of the hospitals in the country where we take over the client from the hospital when they, are, when they, when they feel that actually the patient can get recovered at the comfort of home. So we take over the client and set up the ventilator and if needed trichostomy, we do all, all the necessary services at home. Uh, within in, cold, uh, in close conjunction with the hospital. Um, so where the one advantage for the client is actually he is in the comfort of home with the loved ones nearby. And in hospitals actually the possible of getting secondary infections are very high. Uh, at the home actually like you know, that, that probability is much lesser. Uh, and the third is of course it's much cheaper actually. Typically actually it's one fifth the cost actually what they would have paid in a hospital staying actually more than what is required. I wouldn't say that we are just stealing a client from a hospital or taking a business from a hospital. It's a close, the ho we are helping the hospital to serve a newer client. Um, and we, uh, we, have, uh, we, we developed a lot of uh, patented technology, plus actually our partner, uh, Bayda actually in US has built over the years actually. So the, the surgeon actually has the access to the client at any given time. Uh, it's, it's called tele-ICU. So where actually the, the doctor actually can video in to the client, actually we are serving at the uh, at, at home. If required, actually he can assist the nurse, actually take, uh, take care of certain emergencies if required, and also uh, give periodic instructions from time to time. And we started preventive healthcare a uh, couple of years back, uh, where uh, where we we developed again the patented technology, uh, where, where where our nurse actually visits a client once a month or twice a month uh, based on the need, uh, and take care of all the check all the vitals. Uh, we have a proper rules engine where we we. Uh, we incorporate what is the accept and unacceptable parameters of every client, and whenever the, so initially when you take the assessment, uh, depending on the uh, the assessment data, a nutrition team actually designs a nutrition plan for the particular client, and the physiotherapist helps in teaching them basic exercises. And month, uh, monthly, once or twice, actually, we are scheduled, actually, like when our nurse goes and visits, uh, if we find anything actually alarming, the data, actually, we call the treating doctor, where based on his advice, we take the client to the hospital, or the doctor changes the medication, which we push to the pharmacy and get that. Uh, today, we take care of around 5,000 clients, actually, uh, in Chennai and uh, Trivandrum on this, on this model. We will be launching in other cities as well. So this is basically, uh, let's see, today's world, most people are very active uh, uh, until 70s. But the problem is above 60, more than them, the kids are more worried. They're still working. They're consulting and practicing, actually. But kids are more worried. Is my dad's sugar OK? And mom's BP is OK, actually. This is basically to give the comfort level to the kids, actually, because they have access to the parents' data, actually. So what is exactly happening in the parents' health, actually? And and and, and we, we can well ahead predict, actually, like, if there's any challenges, actually, which, which, may, which may arise, actually. Plus, a proper nutritionist team is actually helping them, actually, on the nutrition plan. Uh, and the physiotherapist is also helping them. This one we are. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think she is reminding actually, like, the time is up. Um, so, this one I think we uh, we are helping to uh, 
it's it's a big emotional trigger and we do it at a price point of 1000 rupees a month uh, even with which a middle class actually working in delhi is parent is in chennai can afford actually uh, which we are very proud of actually like i'm pretty confident that we'll be able to t touch 2 million homes in the next uh, 2 to 3 years um, we're slowly going brick by brick, and in my in my, in my company, everybody other than my uh, me is clinical. Uh, to put the career opportunity slide, actually, like you know, to just for example, somebody nurses who joined me actually like eight years back, uh, now they are the office directors. In fact, my office director in Pune is also a nurse actually who joined me eight years back actually. So all the officers I'm proud that actually are managed by nurses actually who grew up in the career actually with us. Uh, everybody's clinical, uh, nothing fancy, the people we hire. Um, now my president, Dr. Anita, she's hands-on. She studied in Dr. Johns Hopkins and came back. And most of the office heads are rehab specialists uh, or ICU trained nurses. Um, so, so customers actually talk to people actually who can relate to their problems and address their problems. Uh, uh, very closely. So, uh, oh, so career opportunities for from the medical side actually right from uh, so all the nurses actually like the most of nurses their ambition is to clear uh, uh, IELTS actually you know, seven and double because they can get opportunities in other countries because of our parent company Bayada actually like you know, so we have uh, Bayada's offices across the world so we uh, so we asked the client please work with us for two years we help you clear these exams of course they have to write the exams actually if they clear it as long the visa visa restrictions are not there to the countries actually we we send them to those countries and every year actually I take for hundred nurses. For training to us in fact i'm taking on may 29th actually to uh, three weeks to us actually to get to get them trained so those are the career opportunities for, from nursing side on the non-medical side of course there are good opportunities actually on the management positions and in, in marketing and sales because today in the digital world actually like you no know, if because this is an emotional subject uh, if we can write extremely great content and content is the key actually in digital actually if you can write a good content you don't need to put too much money to reach out to people um, if anybody has any questions, I can take up. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I now request Professor Dr. Arun Jamkar, former Vice Chancellor, Maharashtra University of Health Sciences, Nashik, to address the gathering. My dear friends, after listening to all these presentations of offering an very ideal home care, rather creating ICUs at home, creating hospitals at home, I was getting a little confused. In fact, I was thinking of not to talk because my model is entirely different. I hope some of you might know me. I'm a surgeon. I was a professor of surgery in Vijay Medical College. Then I became vice chancellor of Maharashtra of Health Sciences, which is a state-owned university, and I retired from there. In fact, uh, I have created a lot of best doctors in country, and I hope you want me to judge on the quality of the doctors I created. So Rajiv and Vidya, both are my students. We can clap. So after I retired, I thought, let us do something for common man with the principle of affordable excellence. So I have firm belief that healthcare problems of India could be only solved by technology. So instead of joining uh, medical institutes, I join a software industry. So I'm technical consultant to Persistent Systems Limited. And through that, I'm proposing a model which is for all of you to join. It's a model for Pune, where we'll be using all existing resources to see that you have an affordable, excellent home care at home, which a common man can pay. I believe in basic principle. 25% diseases, they are cured automatically. Common cold, malaria, something. 25% you require something more 
to investigate. 25% we require elaborate thing, investigations on whole thing, whole hospitals are set. And remaining 25%, you do anything, you can't diagnose. So this 50% is that for I am directing. And my basic aim is to utilize everything that is available through government because I was a professor in a government medical college. And I work all my life for my poor patients. So my plan is to use a technology. So first thing is to create a home care assistant in battalion. So by creating them, we re will create jobs. Now, National Skill Development Corporation, you know all, there has been one talk, and they have a health sector council. So we'll be utilizing health sector council services and give the training. They have a, they have a small six months program of home care assistant. Believe me, we are not going to give any cardiology or any hi-fi thing. Small, common problems, which are suffered by common man. And the cost will be less than 200 rupees. So I'm working with a company called Palash Healthcare, where they will start with more than 15 to 20 centers and become partner of Health Career Council. And we'll create maybe 1,000 home care assistants within a period of one year. So first stakeholder is creating jobs and those home care assistants at home. Second thing which we want to do is create a home care nodal centers. So we want to follow what is called as a OLA model. Because if you are paying 200 rupees to that guy, in spending 100 rupees on petrol, then how will you survive? So we want to create 100 home care nodal centers in Pune. Now these centers will offer you primary job, some small space, removal of sutures, plasters, some small things which could be managed. There will be doctor in attendance because at the end you call for some ambulance, the patient is serious, they take you to the hospital, patient is dying, they put you in ambulance, say they put you in ICU, and dying patient has to pay two lakh rupees to give certificate. So this has to be stopped. So we'll have visiting doctor, and that can go to the home. Now these home care nodal centers, I want to create through a persistent system. Now persistent healthcare, they have started what is called a De Asara. It's a foundation to create jobs. It's out of personal wealth of my friend, Dr. Anand Deshpande. You go to website, there are 50 different jobs available where you go to it. Suppose you want to do photography business. They will guide you. What are the equipments required? What is the space required? What are the permissions? And then they train you. And through that whole process, if you follow, you create a project. And that project to be submitted to bank, bank gives you loan. And then whole assistance is given free by the ASRA. Because the aim is to create 100,000 jobs by 2030. Our aim is to create <coughs> jobs. So each home care nodal center can have around 20 to 25 home care assistants. So we require around 2,000 home care assistants. Now we follow OLA model so that we'll create an app where you have some small problem. You go to the app. It will identify the nearest home care nodal center. A home care assistant will come to your home. It will be closest. Now you will go through whatever you want, maybe depending on the situation. At the same time, there might be some patient who require some help, and then we should not lose that point. We have created an app which, which works on tablet. It's called Health Mom. Cost will be less than 10,000. You just put the two fingers, it will take an ECG, 
connect with telemedicine to the home care nodal center. There might be some doctor, somebody outside. Then it will have some small, simple routine investigations, which will take care that the patient is not serious. And then, depending upon the requirement, the home care assistant, which has been trained out of whatever available through the syllabus. And therefore, he'll take care of all small things available for that patient. So this is whole model available. Now we want to involve all existing stakeholders in Pune because we don't want to compete with anybody because only you go into competition unless it goes into business and marketing and this and that.